Hello and welcome to another edition of Dalton United in FM19. Now, the aim of this series is to get Dalton United from West Lancashire Division uh, Second Division up as high as we possibly can before FM20 comes out. Now then, you have an idea of the scale of the challenge in case you're new to the channel. We're at level 13 at the moment, and the conference is level 5, so that's quite a mission. But let's see how many of those levels we can get up. So, first of all, before we get into anything else, we have our first subscriber, and I would like to say a thank you very much to this mystery subscriber. It is greatly appreciated. Um, when we're up to 5, you can go, hey, hey I was the first. That'll be that'll be brilliant. I'm sorry I didn't mention it in the last video, but I'm batch recording at the moment. So I'm doing two or three at a time when I get the chance. Right, so let's see how we've done since you were last with us. So last time we beat Garstang 5-0. You've seen that. Or go back and watch the video. Andy Bell had an absolute stormer. We were quite comfortable beating Galgate. Galgate, sorry, away. Um... Merson with his first goal for the club after three minutes and Jay Turner really just sealing it after 52. We had an absolute nightmare against Croston Sports. Um, yeah, we went one down quite early on. Sean Fisher pulled one back for us. We really didn't look in the races. Just before the hour they went two up and we managed to pretty much mug them in stoppage time. A completely unjust point. But hey, that's football. So that leaves us. I'll show you the, the league table. That does leave us top at the moment. We're not running away with it by any stretch of the imagination. So we are unbeaten, but we have drawn three of seven. So, you know, it's not a runaway season by any, by any stretch of the imagination. The overwhelming favourites who are five to one on to win this division are currently bottom having drawn one of their seven. So we're having a better season than Charnett Richard Reserves. So today, we are going to be playing. We've got a short trip to Barrow and Furness to play Furness Rovers. And then we'll be at home to Mill Hill and uh, see how we can get on. So let's have a look at our team. We're going, we are going, yeah, we're going positive at the moment. Because we, yeah, we want positive <laughs> on a good day, free flowing, but uh, lump it forward and hope will do. Uh, football Fisher and Bell are having absolute storms up front. There is no way I'm changing these. They are uh, Fisher's got eight from seven games. Bell has some equally silly number seven from seven games. So he's he's lagging behind. You know, he's only scoring one a game. You know, he needs to watch for his place. Right, so at the back we have Zaccardi, who is actually coming good for us, generally. He's a bit patchy, but he's getting on a bit. You know, he has bad days, probably bad knee or something. Um, at the back we have Brackstone. Morrison's a new inclusion. He's been playing the last couple of games. He was complaining about not getting game time, so we're giving him a few games to see how he does. Hesse and O'Brien complete the back four. We've got a middle lopsided three. Of Lane, Davies and Turner. Uh, Merson supporting the top two on the right wing. And up front we have the aforementioned Bell and Fisher. Now we do have Richard Osborne possibly coming back. He's not quite fully fit yet. And Merson is doing a decent job there at the moment. But I mean long term probably neither of these players are, uh, are, are long term. I mean future seasons in the uh, in the first team Ashley Longstaff has come on once or twice and has done a job he might be I mean if Fisher does drop off because he's not he's apparently no good there as a poacher we see his role ability is half a star not suitable for the senior team and for the team there are a hell of a lot better players than him but he's doing a job so you know as long as he's doing that we're happy Right, so let's get into this game. Yeah, Chris Morris is still not really at peak match fitness, but he's been he's been on the bench for a bit. 
Right, so Wilkie Road. Oh, I know where Wilkie Road is. Um, and let's try and encourage the team. Yes, go on, I've at it. It's only a short trip away. This were favourites for a reason. Let's make no doubt why. We'll we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, come on, railwayman. That's apparently their nickname. Hopefully these are just sort of early meh highlights. Don't concede early. Don't concede early. Close him down. Close him down. Don't let him do that. That's what you're not supposed to let him do. No, that's better. As long as we can... And it's the elegant non-league lump you'll notice there that we're employing. And we have been playing well. It's just... we've Oh, and Bell's absolutely mugged him. <laughs> slides it wide oh come on after, after mugging him like that and then you just hike it wide of the post oh that's one of those things that's that's the quality of striker we have I was going to say he used to play at Blackburn he never. He probably saw he would park but he was on their books for, for three years never made an appearance did Bell and uh, that might be why oh come on close him down close him down close that was an e oh you've given the penalty away Take the ball, not the feet. Ah, well, these things happen. Come on, can Zakadi save it? Can he eck? Decent effort, though. Not going to fault the goalkeeper there. Uh, first ten minutes, we're one down. As I was saying, this season's going really well. <laughs> Thankfully, the top two go up. Come the end of the season, that might be a good thing. That's if we can stay in there. Right, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to give him some sort of a shout, aren't I? Demand more. Yep, demand more. Much more. Right, there you go. A little bit of focus. I'm probably being harsh on him being away. But here comes Fisher with the free kick. Doesn't beat the first man, but it does come back to him. They can cross it in again, and again, it just gets oiks away. Right, can Braxton turn this around? No, we can go back to the keeper though. Now Hesse with a long lump, delicate lump forward, I think. Fisher with the cross. That's Merson on far post, and oh, we've hit the bar. Who was that hitting the bar? Anyway, we've got the corner. Now comes a bit. Can Turner get it going again? No, evidently not. You see, apart from the last couple of games, we've been really dominating possession, and I'm a bit... Oh, that was turning with... Oh, that little bit of head tennis going on there is uh, inelegant, but occasionally they go in, and that's the sort of thing we might be hoping for at this level. Just a bucket of luck. And it bobbles in the, in the goal. Right. It was disappointing, we should let them know that. Hell yeah, it was disappointing. They know the cameras are here, you see. It's, it's, it's all the pressure on them. Show me something else in the second half. That seemed to pick them up. I'm not quite sure what they're going to show is pulled rabbits out of hats or something. Or, I don't know, maybe their Preston North End away kick collection. I have no idea what they're going to show me in the second half, but we do have a free kick. Come on, Brackstone. Right, that was uh, not the best free kick you'll ever see. Got O'Brien, it's Turner. It's Morrison, they're just padding the passing stats now, aren't they? No, they're not. No, they're not. Davis with the goal. Beautiful crossing from Turner. One apiece. Here, here, I thought, no, no, you just... Are you, and they are working the space, in fairness, aren't they? I say that, working the space. Come on, this is the West Lancashire League. <laughs> and that's all right. That's a good start for the second half. I'm going to give him another shout. I'm not sure what I'm, what, what, what I'm going to shout. I'm going to encourage them. Doesn't seem to work, but one day it will. 
Right, Morrison Blackstone. Oh, another delicate delicate hoof forward. And Bell gets three chances. He got the third. He got the third. Okay, that he walloped it against the keeper the first two times. The third time it went in. Oh dear. He learnt that at Ewood Park, you know. <laughs> oh, well, it's not elegant, but we'll take it. <laughs> there you go, they're frustrated now. Um, right, okay. Let's, let's praise them. Can we praise them? Yes, we can. Little bit of praise. There's no one any harm. Fish has been really quiet. I have a word with him, you know. Bell's leveled you for goals now. Bit of pressure on you, lad. Come on, just hold on for this. It's, it's very rare that on a YouTube video you want a quiet few minutes, but right now, oh, Bell, nah, it's cut out. It's cut out. Beat that defender there, thank you. Oh. Imagine what I'm going to be like in big games. <laughs> Right, there's probably not going to be time for the free kick. We're going to take a time over it anyway. That is going to be three points. Deserves that win, apparently, according to the text at the bottom. Uh, ha the, the, put my teeth in. Uh, Bell and Davies obviously had good games with them scoring. And Hesse as well at the back, who's getting on a bit. But he can still put in a performance for us. Right. We shall be back for the second match, which I think is Mill Hill. We shall catch you due to the joys of editing instantly. Before we get into our next game, uh, we're going to have a quick look at the finances. Uh, because obviously uh, money is rather tight at this level. Now we do have... Uh, but thick end of 1400 monies in the bank, which is nice. And we have, I don't know whether I can bring it all. There we are, sponsors. Another, we have a sponsorship deal. We have a title sponsor. Have a guess. Well, you can probably see it. I can't cover that with my hand. Right. Okay, so it's not going to be big money, uh, our title sponsor, is it? And it's there you go. The main kit sponsor, 700 quid. Oh, is it, oh, that is per year. Oh, I was a bit worried that it was 350 quid a year then. Uh, so, so we've got 700 quid a year from our spur, shirt sponsor, which when you're looking at monies like this, you know, our gate receipts for the season so far are 800. That's uh, not at all bad. So we do have a shirt sponsor. That's the good news. We have no wage budget, obviously no transfer budget, but we do have a scouting budget that we might have to make use of. But enough ado about that. We have injury issues. Uh, Daniel Merson is out. The physio did say, oh, you can give him an injection. It'll only cost you 500 quid. <laughs> no, we'll uh, leave it to the physio. And that does mean that Mr. Osborne can come back into the team. Thankfully, he's, he's back and healthy and well again. And we're going to pop, what are we short of on there? We would probably do with, <laughs> we're short of everything, let's face it. <clears throat> I'm going to put Mr. Nightingale. You know, Nightingale can come on as well, and come onto the bench. So, other than Osborne, it's an unchanged 11 from the last, last game. Let's see how we can crack on with this. One of the longer trips, this one. Uh, Mill Hill is in Blackburn, so it's a good hour and a half up on a probably a shoddy coach minibus. Let's face it, they've all got coaches at this level. So, um, our trip down there in our shoddy minibus will be interesting. Hopefully, we'll make it. But we don't worry about that now. We go team selection, we get the home three points first before we have to worry about going there. Right, Osborne, yeah, no much sharpness. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. All he has to do is lump it into the middle. Right, I'm rather funky colours for, for Mill Hill. 
Okay, let's see if we get a decent gate here as well. Something above 17. Right. Had a good run, go out there and impress me. They weren't really keen on that, were they? Let's give them some more. Get out there, make a difference. That might help. It might not. Get out there, make a difference. And you lot. Get out there, make a difference. There we are, they look happy, seem motivated. There's green. That's good. Let's go. Come on, Dalton. Oh, kickoff highlight. I don't know why I always get tense on the kickoff highlight, but I do. The idea of conceding early. Right. So there we go, kick. Oh, and we've, we've nabbed it from midfield. Here comes Osborne. Back from injury, what can he do? Oh, he nearly, he got that move going, and that was nearly 1-0. Brackstone. Oh, and it's wellied over. I'm not quite sure who got the welly in on that. Right, I'm going to give him a shout. Um, I've had six shots at a nil. I can't really. Uh, I'm going to encourage. I'm going to forget that immediately, aren't I? Oh, here comes Braxton with the free kick. Had a clear to Bell, who can't. Well, he gets shot away, but it's blocked. Braxton again with another cross. Again, it's headed away, and it's Hesse. Blimey, who knew he should shoot? <laughs> I didn't know he had a shot in him. It's headed away. It falls. Oh, as calm as you like. Hey, when your centre backs can do that. Oh, I'm, I'm liking that. Right, my courage. I don't think it did anything, did it? But here we go. We're hiking the ball forward again in an elegant, sophisticated manner. Go on, pressure in. Pressure, pressure, pressure. There comes the hoof, and the hoof has beat us, and McGee is equalised. Less champagne football, more champignon football. That's a mushroom, if you don't speak French. Oh, that's just... Yeah. Well, welcome to the West Lions League. The ball over the top will almost certainly... Be put in and <laughs> quite often it'll beat you that's why we don't want our that's why we haven't got our defense sitting that high is because those do come in and you want a hope of of uh, stopping it but we've had 13 shots to one six on target to one another possession with pants on and it's one apiece some some games are like that right it was disappointing. Right, let's tell them how rubbish they were. I was going to be passionate. I think I'm going to be passionate. The, that, that's not saying it's not good enough, is it? I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. Right, we've got some greenage. That will do. Come on, let's get out. Let's, have, let's nab a goal. Nab a goal. We've had 13 shots. Maybe... At the goal for the shots would be good. But you can't have everything, can you? Yeah, Aaron McGee needs closing down. I don't necessarily trust them to uh, not just be torn all over the place broadly if they start my marking him. Right, another couple of moments and we will be doing a check. Right, we're going to do changes. Here come the changes. Who's playing rubbish? Surprisingly, it's Fisher up front is doing nothing. So Ash Longstaff can come on. See if he can do anything uh, slightly better. Who else is playing absolute? Well, he's we've already got the worst one. Osborne isn't having a, a stormer. I really don't have anyone to replace him with. So he's just going to have to have to book his ideas up. 
Morrison again. I've all oh, got John Nightingale can come on for Morrison. I'll just see if that makes just freshen things up a little as it were. Okay, and we go with play. Here was Braxton with a free kick. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's his first of the season as well. He's been whipping them in and they've been going over wide into the wall. That's the first time. I think that's the first time he's actually hit the target more. First time he's scored, obviously. He has hit the target before. Right, now we've got this. Come on, 10 minutes to hold on, lads. And that's all you need to do. Just hold on for well, seven minutes. A bell. Bursting forward. Oh, now that's the classic amateur league really tackle, isn't it? <laughs> Under away, and that. Oh, I thought they were going to equalise there. Well, we're looking better. We're looking better. We're not looking brilliant yet. And oh, come on, that's classroom ref, surely. Nope. Nope, that's perfectly fine. All right, fair enough. Osborne into Davies. Little delicate thing into Bell. Out wide to Braxstone, where you can put. Oh no, put it out to Lane. Working it into the box. What's wrong with whipping it in, lads? Did I say not to whip it in? That might be why they're not doing that. <laughs> And McGee, and oh, thankfully, Platt's offside because they had us undone then. They really did have us undone then. Come on, we've still got time to throw this away. <laughs> oh, no, we haven't. That's it. There we go. Oh, I can't say we deserve those three points. Um, I'm maybe on the shots we do, but. It's just not clinical, is it? There is absolutely nothing clinical about that. And I mean, we can put 20 so shots on target. We can still lose a game. But the good news is we didn't. We'll be back shortly to have a look where that leaves us in the table. Well, we are still top of the of the division. Uh, we're one point above Horwich St. Mary's. And uh, the top two go up. We're four points clear of Croston Sports in third. And... Uh, Charlotte Richard are uh, having a bit of a turnaround. They've uh, they've won a game. Wow. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got coming up. So we've got Horwich. Oh, I can't just come back straight for that one, can I? No, we're not going to. We're going to play definitely those two. We'll play the next three off camera and then we'll come back for Long Ridge Reserves and, and Walney Island lead us into the the Christmas period as it were. Actually that is our Christmas period game is Walney Island so we'll definitely have that. And we'll have yeah those two games I think. So we shall be back then. Thank you ever so much for watching. The next episode will be up tomorrow. Um, if you've liked this, please do like, comment, subscribe. We have a subscriber. Thank you, dear subscriber. Hopefully the first of several. But for now, thank you for watching. And to our bit.